this is the start of my G-scale railway. I'm going to have a spiral loop. I'll show you with this pole, which goes round the back of the tree, around there, and carries on up round the garden, past the water tank, crossing the path, and then we go across the path. And what I'm going to do here is cut the tracks into the stone. And then we're going to go up here. We're going to have a tunnel around here. And then we're going to go under this stone. There'll be a tunnel mouth. And if we walk around this post, and then we look down, there's a tunnel mouth there. And the track comes around through the vegetation. And then round the back of the strawberryum around here and straight down the back of the garden as you can see i've cleared some of the track bed already the train then pops out from behind the strawberryum straight down the edge of the garden following the fence past the rhubarb and then we're going to go around this corner behind the buddleia and then following the fence line then we pass behind the bird bath and then around the back of Stonehenge, around there and around the corner and the track bed follows around here behind the rake and then again what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an angle grinder and cut a section out of this paving stone so I can lay the track and then concrete over it so you'll be able to walk over it without risk of tripping over and then we go across the, across the path and then the track goes round the back by the shed and the colour gas bottle and then it follows the wood pile and then back round underneath the spiral loop which is there and then we start back at the beginning it's not a particularly long track but it is pretty hilly and quite scenic as you can see I've started to lay some of the track here just to get an idea of where I'm going to put it and then I'm going to get it all level then after that we're going to go and get some ballast from the garden shop some tiny little bits of broken stone and lay some ballast mixed up with a bit of cement dust just to harden it off and then we should be good to go and planning some further line extensions we could have a set of points here with some tracks that run straight up past the raspberries remove this line of stones along there and have a couple of sidings possibly up to the black current up to there also another possibility for a line extension would be from this tunnel here and then a, a set of points there with a line that goes off and follows over towards the strawberryum and then eventually meets the line which follows the fence boundary thus creating a triangle where trains can run from a platform in both directions around the circuit at this point where the two tracks cross over on the spiral loop the track comes underneath here and we're going to put a tunnel or possibly a bridge I'll see what happens and see what looks the best thing but I've tested the track and the trains do run up it quite well on about 10 volts so given the full voltage and four or five wagons it shouldn't be any problem